Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video this time around. I have some 6th gen video game pickups to show you guys. Uh, nothing too exciting, just a couple of, well, just one filler game and then two games in the series that I personally like because I like myself some platformers. And uh, one sort of great game, but there's a, a short story behind it. So, starting off, I have this game here. I got it at the Value Village today. They... Oh, that was kind of sticky. Uh, two games stuck together, I don't know why. But, uh, basically, I went in. They had no games out, nothing at all. Then, the lady came, restocked the shelves, and I found two games. The one game, I already had it. It was Rogue Squadron... Um, Rebel Strike or something for, for the GameCube, and there were a couple of their uh, sports PS2 games there, but I didn't even look at those. Uh, there was this game here, though. It was unmarked, so I assumed it was $2.99. It's The Matrix Path of Neo. I actually don't know why I grabbed this, because I didn't really like The Matrix. I'm probably one of the few people that didn't like The Matrix. And I just don't know why I went ahead and grabbed this game. Uh, anyways, when I went to the register, the guy punched it in as uh, 199 so I just paid $2 plus tax for it. So, I mean, that's something. Uh, next up, I had gone to a local thrift store, one that's just down the street from me, and I found these two games. Uh, they were two ninety nine each, and they're both again in a series that I personally like it's Rayman 2 Revolution and Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc now this one here has just the disc with no manual and the other one has the manual so that was pretty decent but yeah I like the Rayman games and I actually haven't had a chance to play either of these two um, I personally only played one of the GameCube Rayman games, uh, Rayman for the Saturn, and then the newer Rayman games on the Wii, the 3DS, the Vita, um, basically those games. But I found those two for $2.99 each, so I went ahead and picked those up. Uh, next up, I went to this used game store. It's called Game Mania here in the city of Toronto. I've been to it many times in the past. It's been a couple months since I went back to the store. Um, I actually I shouldn't say a couple months, uh, probably a little bit over a month since I've been back to the store. So I went back, I took a look around, I looked at the loose disc games as well as the manuals just to see if there are any bits and pieces that are worthwhile. Uh, for a dollar I got the manual for Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. I don't have this game yet but I do intend to buy it one day, so I have the manual for it at least. But yeah, that was a dollar. And then I looked at their disc only games, and usually um, they have slightly damaged but still working disc only games for very cheap. But when they have good condition or near mint condition uh, disc only discs, they're usually 15 or $20 a disc. Uh, for example, when I went to get uh, Pokemon XD Hail of Darkness, well, I didn't go specifically to buy that game, but when I found the disc uh, only copy, uh, it was it was either twenty or twenty five dollars. I can't remember right now, but I was stupid. I went ahead and bought it anyways because I really wanted to play the game. And thinking back on it, I think it was twenty dollars. Um, anyways, I saw another game disc only, of course, also listed for twenty dollars. But I think, well, in my opinion, it was worth it because it has no scratches on it at all. It doesn't even look like it's been resurfaced. It's just got a couple of fingerprint smudges on it. But it's Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. And it's, like I said, just the disc with a couple of smudges on there. But otherwise, the disc is in perfect condition. And again, it kind of sucks to have paid uh, 20 bucks for this. But in the past, I found some really good uh, Saturn disc-only games for 10 bucks a piece or less. So it kind of makes up for it. Even though I know this game is supposed to be like a $50 game, even for just the disc, 
I, I still don't think $20 was a good price for it, but I started playing the game, even though it looks kind of weird, um, just like the quality of the, of the uh, um, graphics, they're not that great, it plays fairly uh, easily, I suppose. Uh, the combat system is really uh, easy to get a hand of. Basically, you press X as much as you can to attack your enemy, um, and you pretty much sort of load up your uh, special attack. You click R1, and then uh, you choose one of the four buttons, uh, and you let out that attack. But that's just a very basic understanding of it. Uh, either way, the game seems uh, pretty fun. I expected for an expensive game like this to be at least playable. So far it is, and I'll have more fun with it in the future. Anyways, that's all I got in terms of 6th gen video game pickups. Um, I guess that, that's it. Sorry for that pause there. I don't know why I had such a huge pause there, but... Uh, check out my 300 subscribers contest, uh, enter if you'd like, uh, Facebook, Twitter, website, they're all linked in the description below, and that's about it, see ya.